Harry, I'm, I'm disappointed, man. I'm, I'm disappointed in you. And Mike, I know you love Justin Herbert, but I mean, but why, why are we not talking about the career arc that Jalen Hurts is on right now? Why are we not talking about this guy possibly being a guy who could challenge for? Let's just okay. Let's just let's just rewind for a second. There was significant movement towards the discussion being that if Jalen Hurts didn't get hurt last year, he was going to beat out Patrick Mahomes for the MVP. True. There was significant discussion during the course of the Super Bowl, which we were broadcasting up in one of the booths down there in Arizona, about Jalen Hurts has got this MVP sewed up. Philly's going to win this game. Jalen Hurts is going to be an MVP, and it's just going to every, all hell is going to break loose as far as what can this young man potentially be considering where he has started and where he has come to now? So let's just think about it next year. No, look, I understand now that Shane Steichen is in Indianapolis, his old offensive coordinator, and now Brian Johnson is his new offensive coordinator who was his quarterback coach in Philly, is now calling plays. But Nick Sirianni is still in Philadelphia. So that's continuity. A.J. Brown is still there in Philadelphia. That's continuity. Devontae Smith is still there in Philadelphia. That's continuity. DeAndre Swift takes, a, takes the place of Miles Sanders. That, quite honestly, is a wash or maybe an upgrade, depending upon if you like Miles Sanders or DeAndre Swift you know, better. The offensive line comes back intact, minus the starting right guard, which they put Tyler Steen in there, and they keep on rolling. So there's continuity. Dallas Goddard is still there. Kenny Gainwell is still there. So they have nothing but continuity around Jalen Hurts. And Jalen Hurts right now, if you know how he is wired and you listen to this young man talk, has said, look, now – Next time, we need to get back to this game and win this game. We have unfinished business. You think all of a sudden, you know, to use Harry's phrase, you think all of a sudden Jalen Hurts is going to fall off a cliff? You think he's not going to continue to get better? You think this football team's not going to continue to get better? Nobody loves Patrick Mahomes more than me. We all know this. Joe Burrow is the man. We all know that. But Jalen Hurts is coming. This guy, I, bet, I, I would bet he goes over four grand this year as far as throwing the football. I would bet his, his completion percentage is pushing 70. He'll be over 100 in QB rating. That touchdown to interception ratio will be similar to what it was last year because he is someone who is conscious of not turning over the football, and they have a hell of a strong running game that he can lean on anyway. So I think he's just going to take his game to another level, and we will have to talk about him in terms of being a top two, top three quarterback because that's just where he's trending. That's where he's trending, and he still has all the support around him.